Welcome to our third week of pre-writing exercise. Now as you can see, for this week we have a different theme again. We have clothing. So I can show you what I've gathered together. We have three different shoes here. One has a zip. So this is good practice. It's a little bit tough too. They have to zip it up and zip it down. This is one shoe, here the next shoe. You can talk about it as well. The type of shoe it is and how it closes. This is using Velcro. Here we have a little sandal. Here's a little boot, a dressy shoe, and a sandal. And so you can learn, look, you take, explain as you do it. You put the part inside the loop here. You pull it a little bit. This is amazing practice for pre-writing. You put your little needle in one of the holes and you wait till it pokes out. Usually I tell a little story as we do it in order to keep their attention. And then you pull it out again. So that's for our shoes. You can also have a tennis shoe or even this is a card of a tennis shoe and you have to string string it through the holes and learn to tie. This is for a little more advanced. And here I have a pile of clothes and we practice our folding. So this is also great pre-writing. We learn that we need to lay it out straight. You put the legs in, one leg, two legs. You hold it like this and you put it on top. So it's great practice for pre-writing as well. And you, we go through a shirt. And as we do it, we talk about it. The colors, the type of clothing. Is it for a boy or girl? Now here is practice for using buttons. So this is also good practice for little fingers. As you can see, it's not so easy. Now they have to put the button inside the hole. So I teach them, look, you put your little finger through the hole, then comes the button. It needs some space. Let me in, let me in. So your finger moves, and it grabs it on the other side. And pull it out, and there we have our little button. You can pretend your little button is a car. It goes inside the garage or it's a yummy bite of food, it goes inside the mouth, whatever you want. So there's our shirt. Also, you don't forget to include some socks. You can teach them how to pair up the socks. You can put a few different pairs and they have to match them, sort them by size, by color. And you can also teach, look, we're gonna fold it here and then we're gonna open this little hole and we're going to put it through the whole sock and there we have a nice package of socks and then you go with the next one so this not only prepares them for their pre-writing later on but as well as teaches them life skills, folding, sorting and stewardship and faithfulness you're going to fold it our tights. Now you teach them, look, you fold it in half and then we roll up the feet like this all the way to the top. This is also good rolling practice and using fingers. And then once again, just like the sock, see this hole here? We're gonna loop it on top of the whole pair of tights. And look at the nice little package we have. Keeps it all together. And I have here a couple pairs of my little baby's pajamas. One is practice using a zipper. This also takes good pinching and steady work on your fingers. Hold it tight while you pull and push. And here we have another pajama. And this one is using snaps. You can open and close. Or off and on. Or apart together loose, tight. You can teach all those vocabulary words as you do it. So we go through our clothes there. Another great practice and that we have for our 
free riding exercise this week is dressing up a dolly. Could be any type of dolly, so we have to figure out what type of clothes does she have. Look, oh, hers uses Velcro. So that's an easy one. Sometimes they have buttons or zippers, so you get her undressed. This is not so easy. Look, they have to use both hands, really coordinated, to hold the dolly as they take off the clothes. And again, taking this off and then dressing her up again. You can have a couple little changes of clothes. And again, here we have a little pair of socks. This is good practice for them learning to get dressed. You take your little pinchers, you put them on either sides, you pull it out together, then you put the foot through. At the same time, you push the foot in, and then you pull it up. And we have her socks on. So there's that. Something else. I got some of my little girl's clips. I'll take them off here. These are little snap clips. This you just go like this. Now what the kid has to do is put them through here. See, like this. And then you snap it together. And again, you put the two sets together, snap it together. And then the next set. Now you can have different types of clips. These are the only ones I've used so far. And we have here some elastics, another great pre-riding thing. So you can either use a little uh, pen or a little stick. I, I continue using this plastic and they have to pull. I start off by holding the plastic for them and they pull the elastic apart and then pull it through the plastic while I hold it. Makes it a little easier. But as they get more and more coordinated, they learn to hold the plastic and at the same time with their with their one hand they pull it apart like this and then they can let go. And the next one, pull it apart, put it through, and let go. So here's another great coordination exercise for their fingers in preparation for pre-writing. Now our last li two little things is as this is all related to clothes and dressing up, we have here some buttons. And this is a this is an easier exercise, of course, for a little toddler. And they have to sort the buttons. Okay, we're gonna put all the pink ones over here. Oh, oh, these are nice big red buttons. And you talk about the colors, you talk about the shapes, you talk about the patterns on them. So that's uh, like the buttons. Again, using little pinching movements is free writing exercise. And our last one here, once again, you have to zip it open and close. My children will do this a few times since it's a nice, smooth, easy one. I have here different pieces of yarn. You can use thread, not really thread, well, something thicker than thread. And once again, it's good for little fingers. So they have to sort it by color. Here are all the white pieces of yarn. And we have light greens, dark greens, and we have blues, and we have yellows. So this is great. For example, it's not that easy because they also stick together. So you hold them up with one hand and then with your other finger you can take them apart like this. Or they go on the table and you take one and you have to sort of move the other ones as you're taking them apart. So, once again, well, that was our little session for our clothes theme pre-writing exercise. See you next week.